Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our sixth example of how to solve for a variable in a formula. And the example is as follows. m times a plus r equals n times a minus p times a plus q. In this case, we're supposed to solve for the variable a. Notice there are three terms, one, two, three, that contain the variable a. And so therefore, when we do step number one, we want to move all the terms with the a to one side and everything else, like r, to the right side. Flipping the equation around is not going to help as much. So we're going to go ahead and move the na to the left, the pa to the left, and the r to the right, which means we end up with m times a minus, because when we move this across, it becomes a minus n times a. This becomes a plus, plus p times a equals the q is already there, and when we move the r across, we get minus r. So now we've managed to move all the terms that have an a to the left, and all the terms that do not have an a to the right. The next step, since we have more than one term that contains an a, we're supposed to factor out an a out of every term. So when we do that, we get the following. We get a times m minus n plus p is equal to q minus r. Now, it doesn't matter if the a is in front or the a is in the back. We realize that this term right here is the factor of a. So now when we get to the next step, it tells us to divide both sides by the factor of a, which means we're going to divide the left side by m minus n plus p. And of course, when we do that, we have to divide the right side by m minus n plus p as well. So notice we've divided both sides of the equation by the factor, which is everything in the parentheses, that's multiplied times a. So now we can see that this and this cancels out on the left side, so we end up with a is equal to, on the right side, q minus r divided by m minus n plus p, and this is how we solve for the variable a in that long equation. That's how we do it.